do you hear that? That means it's time for us to come together as a host crew of uh, the Film Sack podcast and do a roundtable uh, about a topic. We haven't done one of these in a while, and usually they happen around this time of year because people got stuff. We got people all over the place, and we don't want to leave you guys with nothing to hear. <laughs> So that's, that's why we do it. Me. I'm the people. It's, it's, wow. I have a trip to Vegas and I have a trip to, or I have a bike ride. And it's all me. That's true. Me. This June, all of these delays, not delays, these alternate episodes brought to you by Brian Ibbett. That's right. Yeah, or as Taylor Swift would say, hi, it's me. I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> oh, I always I thought I guess it was. I did, I still yeah, did you did one. it backwards, but that's all yeah. right. It's, it's fine. me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. Oh, man. The, you know what? You stopped a Swifty revolution that just about killed you. I did. You. I did. Yeah. There were so many uh, letters being written with little hearts on the, over the eyes yep. that uh, yep. I'm glad we stopped all that. All those people pretending they were born in 89, that kind of bullshit. Oh. <laughs> That's right. Well, anyway, uh, we're off, here. People. We're here, everybody. We're going to do a special one-off uh, this week, and it is all about uh, action films with prominently female actors, creators, directors, yeah. that sort of thing. And um, we kind of have a secret list going that Randy's keeping so yeah. that we have to guess on a lot of these. But Right. So so a year ago, we did our hot action movie some roundtable, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, after that, we got a couple of notes like, hey, uh, you only talked about men. Like, oh, yeah, that's true. And we, we actually did talk about women a little bit, but it was like, we need to talk more. <laughs> about mm-hmm. women in mo- action movies especially action movies because like yeah. yes everything we sack tends to be men oriented because men run hollywood right right but there's some there's some really really great uh women led movies or movies at this so what i'm what i got for you is i've got the top 20 movie or movie franchises that feature a woman prominently in an action role. Can I ask you okay. if one, I have one in my mind that I just need to know if it oh, qualifies. Just hold, early hold, on. Hold, no, no, I don't no, want no, you to no, say no, it no, yet. No. All right. Because I'm going to go around, I'm going to go around real quick and I'm going to give each of you a guess. <laughs> okay. And we're just going to go around and around and see if who can guess the most of the top 10. All right. So we got a top 10. Now, of course, this is very subjective. I pulled this from a pretty good site for this kind of thing, but it's super, super subjective. Oh, what's the site so, called? So I'm not I'm not telling you, man. Brian Dunaway wants to cheat so bad. <laughs> I want to cheat. Uh, let's start with Brian I Dunaway. I want you to show your sources. Brian yeah. Dunaway, you're guessing you're guessing one of the top ten movies or movie franchises with a woman in a leading action role. Go. All right. Get Brian Dunaway. Oh, so so I'm just I'm just just throwing guessing one out one. there. Guess All right, one. Yeah. Aliens. Yes, number one. Number Excellent. One, Very good choice. Number one guy. Uh, we got Brian Dunaway already on the board. On um, the board, Stigorn, baby. Sigourney Weaver, of course, is who we're talking about, and we'll we'll uh, get back to her. Uh, Brian Ibbett. Uh Tomb Raider, Laura Croft, Ooh. Laura Croft, uh, uh, Tomb Raider. We're gonna. You, you want You want to name the Sorry. the actor? I would do. I would say. Uh, well, I mean, obviously Angelina Jolie, the initial, but mm-hmm. Alicia Vikander did the was right. uh, better as the. As Lara Croft, I think. Agreed. Uh, on, on the list at number 20, so uh, you don't get a oh, point wow. there. Barely, oh, jeez. I yeah. agree 100% with you, though, on that assessment. She was yeah. very good. Uh, yeah. Brian, uh, d- Scott Johnson, give uh, us a... Uh, d- Terminator with... Uh, yes! Oh, oh strong woman number, in Hamilton. Terminator oh. 2 is number two on this list. So Why we're, do we're starting from the top and going down. This wow. is amazing. All right. Brian Dunaway, your next guest. Go. Uh, my favorite is uh, Mila Jovanovic, who plays in the Resident <laughs> Evil. <laughs> Mila Jovanovic. Awesome. Mila Jovanovic. Jovanovic. And she is also a wonderful singer. She does the uh, the. She ever heard, you ever heard her album? No, I have her album. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I've never. The gentleman who fell before the yes, war. Really yes, is, is, so is it good? It's good then. Yeah, she sings. It is good. It's yeah, I good. Love it. All yeah. right. I didn't know that. Twice. It's, it has know, got nudity on the front. <laughs> we just got number six on our list, and oh. I want you to know that there are some surprises in here. I have a feeling you guys are are going to have a little trouble. So, I just oh, yeah, letting absolutely. you know going forward, there's some there's some surprises. Now, are any uh, of these like director focused? You know what I mean? No. Okay. So none we're, none no, of us are going to say what's her name? Uh, ex uh, Cameron's ex wife. Um, oh my gosh, that's, uh, a, that's a really yeah bad yeah. Way say of, it. Say it. I can't think of her name. Catherine Bigelow. Catherine Bigelow. Thank you. I love her movies. So it's no no shame. Yes, we'll, we'll we'll come to that after we finish out this top ten. All uh, right, Brian Ibbett. Uh, uh, Halloween. Jamie Lee Curtis. Ooh, another really good guess. I'm sorry, not in the top <laughs> ten. Come on. <laughs> I suck at this game. Oh, no, I like I'm that sorry. one, though. That was good. It was pretty good. 
Um, can I throw? Oh, it's not my turn yet. Yeah, it's More your turn. Hara yeah, is it? Okay. Uh, Michelle Hara. Yo. Michelle Yo. Give me Michelle Yo. Ooh, that's a good one. What, uh, what movie are you next? Oh, gosh. Um, that's important, isn't uh, it? It's uh, a franchise, right? Ooh, ooh. It has to be a I franchise. Michelle Yo, too. Or does it have to be just a movie? If it's a franchise. Movie, movie or franchise. Movie or franchise? Well, I'll give her everything I ever want once because she's badass yes. in that. Okay. That is number four on okay. this oh. list. Oh. Of okay. all time. So that movie really cranked out in the last two years, right? Okay. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, anyway, you got a guess? Uh, okay. Okay. I, okay. Per- oh, wait. What? He didn't get it? <laughs> no, I got it. Yes, he got number four. Oh, got number oh, four. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was... That was <laughs> Try and pay attention, right. Dunaway. All right. All right. Wait, 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 wait. I'm trying not to touch the power button. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Throwback. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 we watched it here on film sack, uh, 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 underworld with, uh, Beckinsale. Oh, okay. Beckinsale. Kate Hunaway is running the table. That is Kate. number 10. Wow. Number 10 under our top 10. I like my lady lead ladies. Yeah, you do. Your lady yeah. humps, lady bumps, or however yeah, that song Kate goes. Beckinsale, we, we have the whole underworld franchise at number 10. Yeah. The first movie's the only one that's any good, but yeah. All right. Brian Ibbett needs to get on the board. I need to get on, on right the board. Uh, let's go with, uh, you, listen, this, people are probably surprised I haven't brought in the MCU. What about uh, Scarlett Johansson, Black Widow? That's a good one. Yeah. Not not in the top <laughs> ten. Oh! I am all really, really good promise, guesses. I promise I'm not screwing with you. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I want you to know, and this is a, well, you know what? I'm not going to give a, a, a hint. I'm going to give you a hint when we get back around to you. Okay. okay. All right. Um, good Lord, uh, man. Okay. Uh, well, let's do the one that's the, the the elephant in the room. That's a terrible way of introducing a woman. I'm sorry. I take it back. Uh, I am going with Mad Max Fury Road's Charlize oh. Theron. That's Charlize Theron. Yes, my really friend, we were expecting it from you. I'm sorry to right. say, according to this list, Mad Max Fury Road is at number 12. That's F. Interesting. And what this, I think <laughs> that means that Charlize Theron wasn't a major action like aspect Star. of it, right? Like, the, like right. definitely high on the list, but not in the top 10 because it's not you know, it's not mad Maxine. You know, if we'd have had three of these, if we'd have had three of these and we have two and one of them's different actor, but if we had three with her in them and it established itself as her franchise, that that movie really is about her anyway, then I think this would have been higher on the list, but I understand and and I'll take it. This list might have Furiosa in years to come, but right now Mad Max only made it to number 12, uh, Dunaway. You get to, you get to win the game here. Like you're about to, you're about to take, (laughs) take the final score. With another in, guy. In that case, I'll go with my lower hanging fruit. I'm going to go with, see, I don't know what the series is, though, but she did a lot of martial arts movies, and they were all kind of lo- loosely connected. Uh, Cynthia Rothrock was one of my favorites uh, during the, the during the 80s martial arts uh, boom, and she never gets enough credit. So I'm going to use her name regardless of whether it's on the list. Cynthia what? It What's it? Rothrock? Cynthia Rothrock. Rothrock. Okay. I don't that's, know. A, that's made up for the Flintstones, right? I don't know what no. that does sound like a Flintstones name. She's going to kick <laughs> your ass. You better shut oh, up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Barney leaves Betty and dates Cynthia Rothrock. That's Cynthia the story. Rothrock. That's Sorry amazing. to say not in the top 20. We can return to that uh, after afterwards. She's uh, a legend. Brian Ibbett. Before, before you give me a clue. Yeah. Uh, can I throw? <laughs> let me throw out Gal Gadot or Gal Gadot. Oh, Gal Gadot. That, that is perfect. Oh, geez. I didn't think about that. I wasn't even in the and, area. And uh, the Brilliant. movie? Of the movie might be the Wonder Woman <laughs> uh, franchise. Yes. yes. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. You get a point. Oh, thank, um, thank God. Jeez Louise. Yes. Uh, my, my hint was going to be uh, you needed to get away from the M and MCU. Right, right. Go um, to the DC uh, instead of yeah. the MCU. That's yeah. what I was thinking. Um, yeah. We got Wonder Woman at number eight on this list. Okay. And that okay. shows you just how packed the top 10 is. Yeah. <laughs> I, All right. I personally wouldn't have ever guessed that Wonder Woman was in the top eight until I looked up this. How list, many, so. how many slots are left in the top 10? So we have done away at four points. <laughs> uh, Scott with two and Brian uh, with one. Um, we have one, two, three, four more to guess. Okay. Four slots. Time. So I'm, this is a off. This is a outside chance. Um, but also, I don't know her name. Oh, so you. you're gonna have to help me here. But it's the movie. Uh, it's so new, though, would it be on this list? Go for it. Yes. All right. I really like that prey movie, the the um, predator oh, deal, oh, predator prequel. I thought that was amazing, and I don't know her name. She's a Native American actress. Her name is her name is Amber Midthunter. 
and M- Amber Midthunder is at number Mid- nine. Thund- what? Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Look at Johnson. Woo! Woo! I feel pretty good about that. I, I was surp- I'm actually a little shocked because no one really knows her name. I don't know her name, but I'd love her. I'd love her Tell in that movie. So Absolutely good. amazing performance, too. Yeah. Um, lots of action uh, for Amber Midthunder in that movie. Uh, done away once again. You can win the game with a guess here, or you can <laughs> give Scott an opening to to catch up. I'm torn. I like winning. I like winning, and I feel like I have a winner in my pocket. Winner, okay. winner, chicken dinner. Mm. But I don't want to. Ah. Mm. I'm going to go with Daisy Ridley. She's Ray. You may have heard of the movie. It's called Star Wars. Oh, it's such a good guess, but it's not in the top ten. Oh no. man! Um, and I'll go. I'll go ahead and give you uh, number fifteen. Half portions. Number 15 is Rogue One with Felicity Jones. Oh. Uh, so you can. I, I'm, is I'm that the highest that, starting? I guess, help. well, that would be if it's it not uh, Daisy Ridley. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah but got to guess. All right. All right. Think? Here's Pretty my. Here's, here, I've been thinking about this one. How about J Law, mm. Jennifer Lawrence? Oh, Katniss Everdeen. Yeah. That's Gosh, a good I one. Am, I am sorry to say it's not here. I'm not messing <laughs> Son with of you. What? I'm not messing with you. I also was like, why, where is. Where are Hunger Games in this list? Yeah, it's not even it has guessed so many good ones. Mm. Um, I I can't. Uh, it's a head scratcher for me. I can't explain what. What I can't Jennifer wait to hear the, the ones I'm missing here. This is so. This is what yeah. it's like being on the other side of. Uh, yeah, Tad that's Pooley my trivia. The main <laughs> reason I wanted to do this is to put you on the other side of Tad Pooley Feud. Scott Johnson, yeah. you got to guess. Oh, I'm scared now. All right, so this means we got three slots left. Three slots left. <sighs> okay. Uh, um. How would somebody like um that's just one movie? No, I guess it was remember two we're movies. naming movies or movie franchises. It might be someone that we've already doesn't named. have to be a franchise. Yeah. All right, I'll go with Oh, but uh, did you say it might be somebody we've already named? It might be. It could oh, be. Oh, oh shit. but you, you you've named the name, but you didn't get the franchise, what you're saying. Right? Oh no. Right. I don't know who that would be. Um oh, now I got one idea. Well, okay. I'm gonna guess um Oh shit! This is dangerous. <laughs> this is oh, Charlize shit. Theron for Atomic shit. Blonde. Um, how how about? Oh, I bet I know. No, I yeah, bet go. I know. Uh, t- uh, um, I forgot the name of it. Uh, squatting? No, not squatting. Squatting. Hi- hiding? Uh, hiding tiger? What is it? Oh, there, there you go. go. Tiger hidden dragon. That's it. And if that tigers. Is it what's Tiger her name dragons. again? It's Michelle Yeoh's in that as well. Is that Michelle Yeoh again? Ding ding ding. Lead. There you go. That takes the lead with squatting dragon. <laughs> Sorry, I can never remember <laughs> uh, the name of this shit. Squatting crouching, that, same thing. That's I'm gonna call foul on that. He do I got squatting dragon. Come on. But he knows you know what I meant though. You know, yeah, what I meant. yeah. <laughs> Number three on our list here. The third wow. most third? Yeah, yeah. Third. Yeah, our top three are Alien franchise, Terminator Two, and Crouching Tiger Hidden. Wow! Well, okay. Then I, I this might says to, something. My, I, I mean, I have. To, I kind of agree with that. Like Crouching Tiger is an incredible film, and she does an incredible job. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. Yeah. The, my. My. As, as John Cleese famously said in Silverado, my today my jurisdiction ends here. This is all I. I have nothing left. <laughs> okay. Don't no, no, You have to. You have to get one. There's two left in the top ten. You have to get one in order to stay in this game. Hmm. All right. Well, I was actually going back with Michelle Yeoh, but I was trying to think there was a there was a moment for just a second. And then I th- was there three of them? And we see one of them here on film sec. Michelle Yeoh was in Charlie's Angels, too. And I was kind of wow. thinking maybe that was it. Charlie's but... Angels is a fantastic guess. Yeah, it is not in the top 10, oh. but it is a fantastic guess. I'm really, really pleased. Yeah, that you brought that up because it's kind of what we're talking about in this episode we're we're talking mm-hmm. about you know women doing action and killing it i love that as a, killing it. As a representative of the genre yeah. uh Ibit, you got a got a guess for it uh i mean i'm geez i'm i'm wrestling i'm wrestling with melissa mccarthy right now yeah uh, oh my <laughs> but i'm trying to think of like i mean it's more comedic action it's more like slapstick i mean the stuff that she does for uh, in ghostbusters or spy or um it's really just all about with this crazy ass uh, website that Randy found. Yeah, on right. Yes. Uh, I I didn't 
All right, we're gonna we're gonna wrap yeah. up here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, <laughs> most most people who play these games on TikTok they use Ranker. I used Ranker. Oh, Ranker's um, good. It's Ranker's yeah, great. It's very like good because it's very democratic. It's, it's public source. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, what uh, well, Scott wins, and we're uh, only missing. Did we say? Two. Did we say Uma Thurman? I, I thought nope. Scott had said Uma earlier. No, uh, no, uh, no. The Kill Bill series. Oh, was that on there? Oh, Kill Bill. Oh, that's a great Kill Bill is Kill Bill is at number five. Oh. And, uh, oh. Number seven is Mia Jovovich in the fifth element, which is okay. the most, it's the shakiest one for me, mm-hmm. but it, you know, she has a couple of pretty She's awesome powerful. scenes in that movie. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Did, um, then, uh, uh, what's that? Nick, Jovanovich. Yeah. What's that old yeah. Nikita? Yeah. Yeah. What's that old Nikita movie? Um, I don't know yeah, who's the, in that. Well, there was the oh. uh, La Femme Nikita and then there La was uh, the remake yeah. with Bridget Fonda what's, called, Point of no return, but who was in the original? Oh, the point of no return. I still love that cover box. That is such a great cover box. Yeah. yeah. I also uh, think you should put um oh well, this doesn't do I mean, TV, believe- does it? It's just movies. Never mind. Natalie Portman, uh anywhere else? Yeah, did we say did no, we say but again, again yes, I'm sorry, yes, yes. But again, I only went to 20 for our purposes mm, here. Sure. And let sure. me just give you the all 20 because this is this is fascinating to me. So we have uh, Alien, Sigourney Weaver, Terminator mm. 2, Linda Hamilton, Crouching Tiger, Michelle Yeoh, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, Michelle Yeoh. Number uh, five that you didn't get is uh, Kill Bill that. starring Uma Thurman. Mm. Uh, six is Resident Evil, Mia Jovovich. Uh, seven is The Fifth Element, Mia Jovovich. Mia Jovovich <laughs> twice in the top 10. She's uh, so good. Michelle Yeoh twice mm. in the top 10. That's pretty That pretty solidifies those as our greatest mm. women uh action stars i think um wonder woman gal gadot uh prey amber midthunter and thunder well, tongue and then underworld Kate beckinsale <laughs> so now now uh the next 10 11 is the woman king uh, oh yeah starring yeah. viola davis i haven't Hall. seen that yeah. not even either it's really Just good and, two years uh, ago last year yeah. year before yeah and lashana lynch we're giving three people uh, credit for the woman king. Uh, we get into our Charlize Theron section, Mad Max, Charlize Theron, Salt, Angelina Jolie, Atomic Blonde, Charlize Theron. Oh. Ah, <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Uh, Rogue One, Felicity Jones, the old guard Charlize Theron. So she's, <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> she's got three, she's three places in the top 20. She's, yeah. Uh, and yeah. then the the last four are the long kiss, good night, Gina Davis, Nikita, yes! Nikita and uh, Per Yod. V for Vendetta, Natalie Portman, and we have Angelina Jolie again for Laura Croft. Uh, is she the most populated uh, actor here? She's in the Charlie's most. Charlize Theron. Charlize Theron yeah, is yeah. in the yeah. three times. Three, okay, yeah. she deserves it. Uh, Michelle Yeoh is the top of the list. You know, she's in uh, mm-hmm. number three and number four. Ranker, Ranker does a pretty good job here, I think. We've come up with it. What did we? Someone named something that I was shocked wasn't in the top 20. Uh, who was it? Someone um, named something. Someone quick. Uh, Red Sonia. We watched it here on Film Sack. There. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good uh, one. Yeah, it's Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills Cop yeah. 2. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, uh, okay. Dunaway. What was your second guess again? Someone that we didn't recognize? Oh, Cynthia Rothrock. Oh, Rothrock. Yeah. Tell us more. Oh, she did a martial arts. Oh, is, is there a particular movie you're looking for? Because I can't remember. There were so many great ones. It was like it was during that time when we we're doing like uh, vengeance of you know uh, revenge of vengeance and uh, right. Uh, so she was fighting. She was yes. the lady in Lady Dragon. Lady Dragon, yes, that's probably a big okay. one. All right, yeah, Lady Dragon. That's a great. That's a great one. It's interesting how uh, women in action films kind of fall into a similar thing. And you're you're talking about someone who's outside of that thing, right? Um, there is a sim- there is a similarity when you start. Like I just named twenty movies. Like there's a they have some things in common. They're all melee fighters. Right. <laughs> <laughs> have you noticed? Uh, mm-hmm. Almost nothing I named is someone who uses guns exclusively. Linda Hamilton right. and Terminator Two probably the closest. Sure, but right. The swords I, for Michelle Yeoh and uh, Crouching yeah. Tiger. I mean, yeah, Sigourney Weaver wields a mean gun. I mean, she also does a yeah. lot of cool ape shit in that ape shit movie. Um, yeah. <laughs> what was that called? Uh, gorillas in the shit. Mist. Gorillas in the Mist. Yeah. <laughs> gorilla. It's not very action A lot either. of ape shit. She yeah. goes ape shit. Yeah. Yeah. Ape shit. I love it. Not a lot of action, so, but yeah. So we, know, we know Scott's favorite, but what's, who's your favorite? What favorite of all time? Um, I'm probably going back to Linda Hamilton and uh, Terminator. Yeah. 
Mm. Uh, she's not someone I'd want to screw with. Yeah, yeah. And there was there was something to you to to your point. There was something about her transition from one to two. Yes, that was yes. really striking. It wasn't just that she worked out like crazy and looked buff and no. all that. It was just like her stoic, like keeping it all yeah. together, keep her son out of trouble. All that stuff was just rad. She was really yeah. good. The first one, like she was ultimate mama bear. Yeah. 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 The first one, she was being, you know, she was kind of like, ah, the damsel in distress and I don't know what's going on. And by the second one, she was like, okay, it's time to get real. Mama yeah. bear. Coming yeah. out. Terminator 2 is the first time I recognized my older sister as a feminist. Like she, oh. she came to me and said, hey, I want to take you to see this movie. Okay. And I'm like, why? And she's like, you need to see Linda Hamilton in this movie. And it was uh, my sister's 13 years older than me. And I just, at, up to that point, I had never okay. like seen movies through her eyes. And she was right. just like, you got to see how jacked Linda Hamilton is. <laughs> 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 like, that right. was a big just topic of discussion. That early yeah. scene when she's in the, uh, she's getting interrogated and she mm. uh, takes out the guy or, or somehow she shows knocks him right him out guns. She, yeah, yeah, exactly. Just that. Yeah. Uh, it's awesome. Yeah, that, that is pretty great. Right. Did, um, did, is it? Is, I don't know if she's on this list anywhere, but you didn't mention it. But Prometheus had um, oh, I is love it that Naomi uh, or Numi oh, Rapace. Is that Numi Rapace? Oh, oh yeah. she's so good. I, I would love to freaking see love her, dude. Oh my god! Oh, yeah, all good. the right, all of the um, uh, the Swedish book trilogy, or was that the other one? I was never that watched those? Oh, uh, uh, oh yeah, no, that was her in the first the girl with the dragon tattoo series. Yeah, the but the Swedish one, um, the Swedish one, not the American one with Daniel Craig, but um, it's a girl with the dragon tattoo. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's great in way, that and everything. She's really, great. she's amazing. I did, so I did go ahead and search on down the list. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence comes in at number thirty on Ranker. Wow, for the I franchise. think a pretty good action. She's a pretty good action star. I think. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like to see her do stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me just tell you nice. about a couple of movies that are above Hunger Games for some reason. Uh, Colombiana with Zoe Saldana. Okay. I, okay. I, I haven't I, seen that one. Um, uh-uh. Yeah. And Lucy with Scarlett Johansson. Oh, Lucy is awesome. Well, yeah. That's Lucy's, a badass movie. I mean, uh, yeah. Well, it's, a silly it's, premise. it's badass. Like, we figured out how to use the other 90% of your brain. <laughs> <laughs> it's badass. Uh, yeah. The character's the a Vampire badass. Slayer at 24 oh. with Christy the Swamp. Movie. That, yeah. that the movie. Yeah, the movie. Yeah, higher. Um, I feel like that was a, a sort of an earlier. I don't want to say early action for women because like women have been making action movies forever, but it feels to me like more of a a spike as mm-hmm. we're mm-hmm. going forward. Mm-hmm. I thought that Hannah kind of forgot. I thought Hannah would be on here. I love that movie. Oh, Hannah was oh. good too. Yeah. Yeah. That was number 21, by the way, on mm-hmm. Ranker. Okay, that deserves to be uh, on there. Yeah, uh, Saoirse Ronan, right? Uh, Kate, Kate Blanchett was it? Kate Blanchett was the yeah, she was in it, but I cannot remember who played the. Was it Saoirse, Saoirse Ronan? Ronan? Was it? Saoirse Ronan, yeah. Oh, I gotta get. I gotta watch that again. I love that movie. It's great. Mm-hmm. The show's good too, by the way. The Prime series is excellent. If you've never seen Hannah, two yeah, seasons. Number twenty three on Ranker's list is Brave, and oh, okay. uh, I really, Man, I really that. appreciate that. Like it, it's only got the voice of Kelly McDonald, right? right? Yeah, just the uh, voice of her, but I love her. But so. I, I appreciate that because um, <laughs> the the thing we're talking about, right? We're talking about women in action movies. Um, it extends to animated films without a doubt. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, but, I think so. Oh sure, yeah, yeah. I don't think you uh, like a uh, Mulan. I put on there. You're creating a strong female character, yeah, whether amazing. she's she's uh, live action or animated. It's still a strong female character. The purpose for that is is still yeah. There. Mulan is a good one. I think she's awesome. The cartoon. I didn't see the live action, but the animated film cartoon. <laughs> the animated film is more what I meant to say. <laughs> um, she's she's amazing. You know, let's get down to business and all that shit. It's great. Mm-hmm. I'm once again <laughs> sad. Uh, yeah. brought up Ibbett brought up the MCU, and I had to go all the way to number 40 to find MCU. And I'm sad wow. once again because Brie Larson is freaking oh, amazing. So oh, yeah. And she gets yeah. so much shit, and that pisses me off. She I'm does. like, why are people shitting on this? It's, she's, she's fantastic in this. I don't know. I can't explain. She made, and I can't remember what the comment was. She made some comment that the nerdarati didn't like. and Yeah. Uh, and I can't they, even they, remember what it was, but it was something about finally, you know, another strong female, uh, female-led movie, and it was something along those lines, and everyone lost their minds. I, I don't listen to the haters, Brie. 
It's, over, you, you're doing great. I love this over stuff. Over the last few out. years since Obi Wan Kenobi came out, Hayden Christensen has been going to comic conventions and oh. finally getting the praise he's deserved for yes. 20 years. Yeah. And I hope that we have a future where Brie Larson gets the praise she deserves. I think, <laughs> I mean, she's lucky enough to have a career outside of Captain Marvel. Like she gets to do. She's in all sorts of prestige stuff, so I she's yeah, fine. The room is she's gonna be fine. Just room. Is yeah, I feel like Caden Christensen got super typecast, or not even typecast, because it wasn't like other roles like Anakin. It was just like we're not gonna see him in, in other things, kind of problem. And mm-hmm. she's not really having that problem. She's all over the place. I think she's fine. It's um, it's kind of funny. I mean, I can't think of anything that she's done movie wise, but Rosario Dawson feels like she should somehow yeah, be yeah. on this list, but I can't think of a a movie where she shows off her action chops like she does, like she's done and, on, on What exactly happened to Madam Webb and all that stuff? I, I didn't see it and I didn't, I knew well, people were mad we'll, about it. We might watch it here. I don't know. If, yeah. Uh, if I just, I didn't understand why everybody was so mad about it. I was like, why are you so mad? What about Michelle? Uh, um, uh, damn it. Okay. Hold, 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 hold that thought. Uh, Ibit, the yeah. Rosario Dawson uh, does appear on the ranker list at number 79 uh, alongside Rose McGowan for Death Proof. Okay. <laughs> Death Proof. That was fun. Okay. okay. The, which yeah, is, the, they're half of the Tarantino thing. Which yeah, is funny yeah. because a whole other person is the woman who does the action in that movie. <laughs> um, I'm forgetting her name, but there's an action superstar in that movie, yeah. an Australian mm-hmm. stunt woman. I'm forgetting her name. And it, but it only gets up to number 79, that one. So, is Zoe Saldana not on there anywhere? She should be. She's great. Uh, I just mentioned her. Oh, you did? Sorry, yeah. I missed it. I missed it. Uh, how so about uh, 29 yeah. is the... But not for Gamora. No, it is Zoe Saldana not... Correct. Not, not, not for Gamora. For Michelle Rodriguez is who I'm character. thinking of. She ought to be on there. Oh, oh yeah. my. Yeah, she's just... She's in about she's four or five stone. of the movies oh. we've mentioned. She's in all this I, stuff. Yeah. I should have credited her alongside Mia Jovovich for Resident Evil. That's really uh, yeah. where mm, where she one. is. Yeah, she's great list. on that. But all these Fast and Furious movies, she's she's consistent. She's uh, yeah. I loved her in Dungeons and Dragons on her Dungeons Thieves. and Dragons. I love that character mm-hmm. as well. She's great in Avatar. She's good in everything. And she's controversial. <laughs> she gets in trouble. Yeah, exactly. I like her a yeah. lot. I think uh, Fast and the Furious are the problem, though. They're, they're not on this list because it's so male-led, so manly, mm. you know, those movies? Mm-hmm. Like, and, and Mandy movie! What? <laughs> uh, you know, like, I'm... We're, we're, we're talking about movies where the, uh, the woman in a leading role kind of takes the, takes the center stage. Um, right. A movie that is on the list at number 62 that I'd never heard of until looking at this list is Jolt. From 2021, Jolt. I don't know what yeah, that is. Apparently, nope. that is a Kate Beckinsale action movie. Oh, it is. An, it is. It was made by Amazon Prime, so you could go watch it. <laughs> I kind of <laughs> want to. I like uh, the co- the cola back in the day. I thought Jolt was good. No, Jolt was excellent. Is the oh, is the so cola sugary? That, yeah, no, uh, it was so good. Though. It, was, it was like huge caffeine, right? Like triple was, that. Yeah, that was well, it, thing it was, was huge. Yeah. It was huge for the time. Don't get too excited. It's <laughs> about twice the caffeine of normal Coke. So it's not like our taurine filled fun drinks we have now. It's, it's not like those drinks at Panera that killed old people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's, right. it all was good. I thought it was flavorful. But yeah. I will tell you who I who I I wish was. Um, we would talk about hmm. is a uh, uh, man, anyone who could go toe to toe with Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, in uh, Total Recall, hmm. uh, Sharon Stone. Oh, Sharon oh, Stone yeah. should be on here. Oh, yeah. oh she kicks ass. In that I movie. guess that's that's a movie so dependent. Short. It's a movie dependent list, and that's unfortunate. But if yeah. you look at her, just I remember like, her and Catwoman. Oh my gosh! Oh, she's great. oh yeah. hell's blanket. I've I mean, Holly Berry blanket. might belong on this Holly list Mary. too. Hell. Uh, no Holly Berry. How far sure down do you have to go for list, Holly Berry? We got. Uh, no, we don't have Holly Berry on the list either. Um, yeah. It's and that, that's because there are so many movies on this list mm-hmm. that are just more action starring a woman movies like Mulan, the live action Mulan. Uh, you know, underwater, right? Like that's not a big movie. I I didn't see it. it came out four mm-hmm. years ago. Um, Kristen Stewart, you know, makes the list for a movie oh, like that. And, Did you guys um, know? I'm sorry, I have to interrupt the following program with this announcement. <laughs> Did you know that Sharon Stone starred in a short film 
called Lens Crafters colon because site. <laughs> It's a lens. I mean, it clearly it's a promotional. Please tell thing. me the movie is about an hour long. It's not You're that right. long. It's oh, it, that it. would be amazing. You're right. That would be amazing. Or but, less. Uh, or less. Yeah, <laughs> I guess it is because it's still less. It is an hour or less. <laughs> um, but it was. I'm um, clearly a promotional thing, and you see stuff for BMW and everything else. It's not that weird. But I didn't know this existed. So yeah, yeah. I didn't either. Yeah, that's, that's out there. Uh, Twenty twenty two. Uh, no, one of you brought up Prometheus. It's at number yeah. 64 on Ranker's okay. list. Mm. And they're accrediting uh, Numi Rapace yeah. as well as Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. Numi She's Rapace so deserves that. it. And Prometheus also underappreciated. I freaking love that movie. I when, she gets in that, when she gets in that thing and says, I'm taking this mother out of my body. I just like, you go, girl. She was a badass. That was rough. Total badass. Yeah. I Never couldn't imagine the, doing that. Yeah. The, the movie that I first thought of when we talked about doing this episode is Annihilation, mm. the Alex okay. Garland. Oh, yeah. Another from, Natalie uh, Portman, movie. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Natalie Portman, Jennifer Jason Lee, and Gina Rodriguez all in this oh, movie. That's true. Oh, wow. Um, it yeah, just it came to mind. out there in the Outback. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's uh, you know, it's just, yeah. uh, they're, uh, you know, like Natalie Portman. She's awesome. She's amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, always mm-hmm. possible. Awesome. Awesome. Star Star Wars prequels. She could be. I mean, she died that. from my broken heart, but whatever. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. You do whatever. what you can do. I do hate that she got hixed. Was it Hicks? Yeah, she got hixed in the second movie, uh, in uh, Covenant. So oh, yeah, in yeah, in yeah. Prometheus, Naomi or Numi. I always want to say Naomi. Numi Rapace's Noomi. character was clearly our hero, right? She's our Ripley or right. whatever. Mm-hmm. And then that thing ends, and the next movie starts with she dead. She ain't here. She oh, did. right. Yes. Yeah. She did. Remember how much you hated the last time we did this? We're <laughs> doing it again. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess I'll appreciate it later like I do three now. I like three now, but I hated three yeah. because of that. I was so mad at them. Yeah. Damn, I was mad about that. Uh, well, anyway. I, yeah. I, uh, I think uh, Ibit brought this up, and I just this was on my mind as we were talking about this. Um, the Heat starring Sandra Bullock and Melissa McCarthy uh, great movie. is oh. really good evidence that if if a an actress commits to doing action, you can right. make action around them. Like you can, like you, there's no reason why there aren't so many more really famous, really uh, you know, blockbusting uh, action films starring women. <laughs> No, I, I agree. I wish it, example. I wish Hollywood would, well, maybe we're better now and I'm just not noticing, but it seems like they should stop treating it as, as a weird one off or as like a unique case or like it's a selling point that look at these women being all like, no, just give me a good story with an awesome, you know, character protagonist and make her, you know, give me, give me, you know, the female perspective on that kind of action. Don't just, don't make John Wick with a lady, make, do it, make it nuanced and, <laughs> And I'm in. I think that's freaking great yeah. that we've that we can do. And I want to see more of those. I guess is what I'm saying. It's a short. Way and hopefully, it. you know, if we do this in a, like a year from now, Kaylee Spaney, who's going to be the lead in the upcoming Alien movie, is going to be on. Know. She was great in Civil War. So don't don't sleep on that performance. That's out now on uh, something. Something just got it on Apple TV or or someplace. Yeah, somewhere. Yeah, like a streaming deal. Like already, oh, like like uh, it included with your streaming. Yeah, I can't remember who. Oh, um, everybody's just looking this up. This up. Oh, be Prime as, Video looks like. Is it Prime? Uh, nope, that says Rent Buy. Hold on, maybe I, maybe <laughs> yeah, I misread it. Video. I thought it was streaming, or maybe I was in Plex and I noticed it. <laughs> uh, hold I, on. I, and I hear you, and I agree with you, but like one thing I've noticed is we're still so male centric at the movies mm-hmm. during the summer. Uh, like sure. liter- yesterday, literally the two movies that opened yesterday were Bad Boys and Hit Man. Like yesterday, <laughs> Hit Man. Yeah, yeah you're right. They're rentals and buy that. and buys. You're absolutely right. So mm. sorry, I'm so, I think I saw Plex and got excited. <laughs> <laughs> Oops! Yeah. It's streaming for someone. All right. Uh, we'll yeah. Yes. Uh, creepiest performance by Fat Damon you'll ever see. I can't wait. Yeah. Let's let's just say it like this: We all are hungry for some good action films, and it doesn't always have to be a, a, a remake or whatever. And we are always open for a unique character. That's always my favorite part of action films. If you bring somebody unique to the scene doing something really cool, I'm going to go see it. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's harder to I know it's harder sometimes to uh, get movies, especially action films. A lot of times go hand in hand uh, with big budgets and big budgets are they have to be bankable. Um, And unfortunately, 
uh, you can't always convince the money people uh, that somebody's an action star that hasn't oh, already been doing it. Freaking, it's, it's, it's a fact. Freaking it money people, dude. Money people the, making the decisions. The word that right now, sense. the word right now is Warner Brothers is dicking with uh, Bung Shot Ho. What's his name? <laughs> Bung Shot Ho. Bung Jun Ho. <laughs> Bung Jun Ho. His new, his next movie. And like he's right. the dude has literally won Oscars yeah, for his last yeah. effort, and they are making him make it. We need it to be more relatable. They have they're making him go back and yeah, do rewrites geez. to make it more. It's like, dude, let the guy cook his freaking dinner. What are you doing? Exactly. I wish yeah. Hollywood would take some risk, but it's money based, unfortunately, and that just not yeah. Happen. But you know what? That's why we have the uh, the t- uh, uh, what's the name of the thing? V twenty four. What's the name of the the A twenty four? Yeah, you're right. A twenty four. You were close. It's upside A24. down. You but, have uh, some studio. I, those who are doing that very thing they're taking yes. risks horror, and they're and it's paying off so horror is the best place to break in because usually the budgets are smaller but they make a pretty big impact typically yeah so, but a24 um, is not just horror they got all kinds of shit. oh no it's not but i'm just saying that is a that is a good entry point if you're if you're not being exploited which also is goes hand in hand sometimes with horror stuff yeah so, yeah. yeah yeah they're they're as far as i'm concerned we need more a24s and less giant WBs, you know what I mean? Like this, well, it's very filmmaker centric. <laughs> and mm-hmm. when when you talk about women in action movies, you're talking about specific filmmakers. You're talking about, for instance, Luc Besson, who mm-hmm. has made a career of elevating women in action movies. Mm-hmm. And uh, A24 is is promoting those sorts of filmmakers as well. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yep. Hollywood, so, give it back to Hollywood, possibly, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Taking do some think, chances. Do you think so, uh, if you did this list next year? Like I'm a little shocked we didn't bring up Anya Taylor Joy. She belongs on here, and oh, I, not yeah. just not just for Furiosa, yeah. for like lots of stuff. Um, but maybe none of the, her stuff has been like specifically action, because that's what we're talking about is action movies. So. Yeah, I mean she's part of the the ensemble cast for New Mutants, which has a lot of action. In that's it. number seventy eight. Uh, I was oh, on was there. It really? Okay. So. Yep. All right. For a movie that didn't do very well, seventy eight's really not bad. That's a decent. I, I like. I like and that it's a movie. decent movie too. It's I like it. it's. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't what I was the expecting. X-Men, the Fox X Men stuff that's come out in recent years. This is yeah. so much better than Dark Phoenix or Apocalypse or, you know, everything maybe without uh, or everything up until you get to like Days of Future Past and First Class and stuff like that. I think is really good, but yeah. but this is uh this was a step up. It's the one that took forever, right? Was good. Was that the one it that did? It got pushed, yeah, so many yeah. times, and then the last push was the pandemic, and this was the that was the first movie I saw in a theater after. And they were and they were the trying pandemic. to sell it like a and they were trying to sell it like a horror. When you, if you read New Mutant, you're I like, mean, ah, it's, it's not really that. Yeah, it is, but it's, it's not. Yeah, way more horror elements than any other uh, right Marvel film. But yeah, I just remember it being in production hell, and we talked about it for so many years, mm-hmm. and so many years pushing it out, and, and then it finally came, and I went, oh shit, I missed it. <laughs> I I liked it. I wouldn't say I can't wait to see it again, but I liked it. That was good. If you haven't All seen right. Anya Taylor Joy in her first film, and still I say possibly her best is the Vavitch. If you haven't seen the witch, oh, get in there. The Vavitch, <laughs> yes, the Vavitch, so good. Gosh dang it! And uh, so they should have gotten Mila Jovovich for the Vavitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get all the think about Mila Kunis in that uh, with that with Kate McKenna and that in that uh, what was the name of that movie they did that was like there's a spy thing. Well, what the crap was it? I liked um, her in Book of Eli. She's good in that. Oh yeah. Oh, she was good in that. Yeah, that's well, that's that point. sequel. I hope is her. I, I haven't heard how they're doing that. They're I writing love a Kate sequel. McKenna. Have I mentioned that? Uh, well, <laughs> it's, not a, it's not an action movie per se, but Mila Kunis, the way she is physical in Bad Moms, yeah, is yes. exactly what you want. Yes. Like, yeah. this is precisely the thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, before we go, yeah, I just wanted to uh, leave you with a suggestion. Do it. Um, next week, there's a movie coming out that I hope everyone goes to see. It is called Thelma. And Ooh. Thelma is an action movie about an elderly woman uh, played by June Squibb. June Squibb. Those are my oh, favorite. Oh, I love June elderly Squibb. Yeah. June Squibb yeah. is so good in uh, gets- Nebraska, was it? Nebraska. Yep. Yes. Yep. Oh, my God. She was great in that. Yeah, she gets revenge on uh, uh, identity thieves, right? Or something like that. Correct. Like people- yeah. Correct. She gets, a, <laughs> she gets a scam phone call, and it leads her into an action movie. I'm so excited and, about this. Yeah. Uh, re- freaking Richard uh, Roundtree Shaft. Richard Roundtree is her partner in her crimes, and uh, it's also got Parker Posey and Clark Gregg. Didn't he uh, just die? Uh, he just died, right? Uh, Richard Roundtree. Uh, Sorry, not to bring us down, but didn't he just pass? Probably. Away? Yeah. Um, uh, 
there, so not only are, you know, I, I don't, I, I didn't mean to make the point that there were no action films starring women because boy, is this set to be the, the fun movie of the summer. Please go see, uh, uh, Thelma. I'm excited. I didn't even know about it. So thank you for the, and uh, the sequel, up. Louise. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to see the sequel. Things go bad. <laughs> Uh, well, all right, then. There you go, everybody. A roundtable discussion that I hope you all enjoyed. We'll be back next week with Repo Man. That's our next film. Uh, the Emilio Estevez extravaganza. Couple of dudes. Yeah. Vehicle. <laughs> yeah, vehicle. And uh, that'll be fun. So we'll talk about Repo Man. And then uh, we got more fun stuff after that. So stick around, as usual, for more Film Sack. In the meantime, FilmSack.com is our website. That'll do it for us. Thank you for listening. For me, for Brian, for Brian, and for Randy. That's what she stabbed. Top 10. Ah. Bye.